Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Cancer. We're going to see who's jealous of you and why. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. If you would like a personal reading or anything you need to know about me at all, it's down in the description box. Okay? So, let's see Cancer, who's jealous of you and why? Alright. Let's see who's jealous of my cancers and why. All right, let's get it in. Cancers, please, spirit guides, angels, universe. Cancerians, who's jealous of my cancers and why? The hell would they be for my cancers, please? Cancerian. Who's jealous of my Cancerian spirit and why? Who's jealous of my Cancers and why spirit? Who's jealous of my Cancers? Who's jealous of my Cancers and why? Who's jealous of my Cancers? Okay. Could be a uh, air sign, Libra. Okay. And we have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck or Capricorn. All right, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I see the Queen of Swords is Libra. Okay, so somebody's very bitter, mad. They could be jealous or upset here of you, Cancer. Let's see, the Hermit in reverse. Yeah. Somebody is very, very angry and upset and mad with you here. It could be a Virgo. But this is the major arcana that's here, Virgo energy. Or it could be a fire sign, can't, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is Sagittarius to me, though. So the King of Wands in reverse. Somebody, like I say, y'all know what I say about the King of Wands in reverse. This could be somebody you work with. doesn't have to be. But somebody's jealous of you, maybe because you're smart. Okay, you're, very, you're highly intelligent here, Cancer. Okay. Somebody, um, they're jealous because maybe you're you you're a teacher of some sort or a business owner, and maybe they're they're not growing because the hermit in reverse is is in the upright is knowledge is is going down a it's um like going through it's like it's on a journey of um self awareness. Okay, I'm hearing of spiritual awaken awakenings as well. But somebody here is not growing. Somebody here is a tyrant, a cheater, a liar, a con, abusive, physically, mentally, emotionally. Somebody that lacks integrity. Somebody that um, um, doesn't finish what they start. Somebody that is a serious uh, slacker. Okay, and maybe they're jealous of you because you're not. You're you're highly intelligent. You're smart. You're witty. You're sharp. You're quick. You're a business owner. You're well respected. Okay, some of you could be in the military. All right. Maybe someone's jealous or mad because you, you cut them off or you cut them out. And now they're tired. Now they're upset. Yeah. Or this could be you, Cancer. All right. Yeah, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. All right. You're no longer confused about a situation here. You're out of the fog. You're out of the confusion. You're out of the games, the illusions that somebody was creating here. You're done. You've turned your back on the situation here. You're, you no longer put have any passion toward this person or toward a situation. You're done. And somebody is mad about that shit. Yeah, the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. Something is shifting and changing. Yep, the justice. This is double karma that somebody is receiving here for their behavior here. For being very much um, a person that's not to be trusted, somebody that is slick at the mouth, somebody that's a tyrant, that's somebody that just lacks integrity. Yeah, if you turned your back on this person and now they're jealous and mad, I'm, I'm hearing they want to get, get back, okay? Because you've moved forward. Yeah, ten of wands, you dropped this burden, okay? This person is jealous because you're no longer willing to carry them or deal with their bullshit, Okay? This person is very burdened in their life. They feel a lot of heavy. Um, they, they feel like their, their life is going under here. They're very angry. And then you're sitting up straight. 
Yeah, seven of pentacles. Somebody's looking back on, on how burdened their life is. Maybe their bank accounts is low. And maybe you have all these opportunities coming towards you, Cancer. Okay. Yeah, maybe some of you purchased a new car. So you you really comfortable. You're really living good. Yeah, and then somebody else is in this energy. Five of pentacles and the five of cups. Okay. They're out bad. No money. They have the weight of the world on their shoulders. And they feel like they're being left out. All right, they're looking, they're, they're scraping, they're looking at their bank account constantly. They might have $700 left in it, and they're wondering how they're going to make um, a move off of that or how they're going to uh, live off of that. It's possible. Yeah, we have the fool here with the death and the king of swords. So we have the king to the queen of swords. So maybe somebody put an end to a relationship here. Death could be dealing with a Scorpio, an Aquarius, or a Virgo. Those are the three major arcanas here. But somebody took a leap of faith towards another direction here. They went on about their life. They ended something here, transi transitioned into something else here. Somebody really has their sword up. They're really serious about this, this uh, decision that they're choosing to make here. Okay? It seems like two people could be counterparts here, and one person is upset because two people are coming together. Okay? One person is seen through the fog and the games and the illusions that somebody was creating here. Okay, for a long time. I'm hearing seven years, seven months, whatever. Somebody is angry, pissed, jealous, and vindictive because two people are coming together. Two people are um, meant to be together. And, and someone's taking a leap of faith, ending it with this one person and, and going towards somebody else is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and they're going fast with the Eight of Wands and the Temperance and the Knight of Wands. Okay, this could be Sagittarius energy. These are both Sagittarius, Knight of Wands and the Temperance. Something is moving quickly, fast. This person is something, a shift happened here. Yeah, could be towards um, a Pisces or somebody doesn't have to be somebody that's very, um, a very much a psychic. Somebody that has a lot of likes, comments and subscribes. Okay, gets a lot of attention here. Somebody is going towards yeah, someone from their past that they can't move on from. Okay. Somebody's very jealous and vindictive about that. Yeah, three of swords. There's a breakup. Somebody is jealous because somebody's ending it. Yeah, nine of wands could be a Sagittarius. All right. Somebody is blocked out. Somebody's tired of being a wounded warrior. Somebody's tired of the clouds or smoke. It's like the clouds. I'm hearing the clouds have literally cleared for someone. Somebody's no longer in confusion. And upright, it's smoke all around you, illusions, all types of games. We have the magician here, which represents illusions. And tr the magician is a trickster. On the positive side, is the magician is a master manifester. They, they know how to um, use the tools they have to, or the resources they have to um, acquire what they want. But on the negative side, because there's a negative side to every card, okay, in the tarot, or to every sign, all right? The negative side is that they're a trickster, okay? Gemini energy. They know how to, to create illusions. They know how to tell you what you want to hear to get what you want. Somebody is out of that shit now with the seven of cups in reverse. They're no longer confused. It's like the clouds have dissipated. Somebody can see now somebody for who they are, and they're no longer dealing with that, and somebody is mad as hell. This king, king of wands could be the queen of wands. We don't go by gender, okay? Somebody is upset, Somebody is clear here that they're meant to be with someone. King to the Queen of Swords, two counterparts. And they're ending the situation with this person and taking this leap of faith towards someone else. They've thought about this long and hard, and now they can see. There's definitely a breakup. Something is definitely ending here. Okay? It's over. They have their guard up. They're done fighting for the situation. They're done. Yeah. What's the messages? So somebody's jealous that somebody's starting over here with someone new. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, methodical um, energy. Very slow-moving energy, but very solid. Yeah, the tower. Somebody's thought about this for quite some time. This ending, okay? Yeah, there's arguments and fights in a home over another person, over a fire sign, or somebody giving attention to a fire sign, or somebody watching a fire sign, or wanting to make an offer toward a fire sign. Somebody is highly jealous here, and, they're, and they've tried to do things to stop somebody's progress, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, someone from your past, Six of Cups, somebody you have children with, or just somebody that you were with for, yes, uh, paid the source. Somebody's watching someone from their past heavily here. Somebody also discovered some information. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. And they want to make an offer toward this person. Hell yeah. 
So we have the Justice, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Cups. This is karmically meant to occur. You have the Chariot. Somebody is moving forward and moving on with their lives. Just period. Okay? We have the Double Karma, Justice, and the Wheel of Fortune. Here it could be with a Libra. Because we have Libra three, here three times. Okay? Somebody wants to reconcile here. Yeah, this was a third party situation, but that's over with. This other third party is done. They're out of the picture. Someone sees a better opportunity with someone else. And this King of Wands may try to stop this person from moving forward. They're going to emotionally manipulate this person. But I see somebody just up and leaving. I see somebody leaving like, what's this King of Wands in reverse? What is this King of Wands in reverse? What is this King of Wands in reverse? Yeah, the magician is here. Somebody that's a trickster. Somebody that's a con. Somebody that could have been lying. Yeah, they're mad. Could have been lying about a government entity here or some kind of business that they were, institution that they were in. Somebody is mad because they were caught in, in, in whatever that they were trying to do. Hell yeah, look, they were controlling the emperor. Five of swords. Yeah, and the four of swords. Somebody thought that somebody wasn't going to be able to see this, what this person was doing. Yeah, this person was uh, lying about institutions, stealing money, doing whatever they were doing, manipulating the situation with the magician, trying to control it with the emperor, being very much a narcissist. I don't know why I'm hearing this is a female narcissist right here, but this could be a male. Somebody is very manipulative, very much trying to con control the situation, and they were found out. They were doing what's best for them with the Five of Swords, playing mind games and being a trickster and a con. And they were find, found out. And now somebody's jealous because someone decided to move on towards something else. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to go fight to be with, go toward a new connection. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords going towards the Ace of Cups quickly. Okay, somebody could be a well-known star. Oh, excuse me. A well-known star as well. So, Cancer, somebody's jealous because you're moving on with your life. You're going into a real connection and someone knows that, okay? Someone's mad because you're going to get justice for, for everything that they, all the lies and games and illusions they created or tried to create. You're going to get justice for that. Karma is going to be on your side. We see the Ace of Pentacles here in the Three of Cups. You're going to be celebrated, great opportunities around you. And for them, they're going to be left out in the cold. What's the message for cancer, give me a couple of cards from the rebel deck for my cancer. So yeah, somebody's jealous and mad because you're moving on to great, to great things here. We have wake up. You are missing some cool shit. Stop sleeping so damn much. Yeah, you were awakened to who this person was. Okay? And this person is mad. Because they tried to do everything they could to keep they could have even been trying to use magic to keep you confused here. Okay, to keep you stuck in the situation. Somebody here needs to protect their energy. It says, don't take 12, take one. Okay, maybe two, move on. Take a shot. Yeah, somebody, look, the move on card. Yeah, somebody um, somebody about to be celebrating three of cups. They like, yeah, let me take a few shots. Shit. Okay, let me get, I'm happy to be up out of this fog, out of this confusion, out of this bullshit with this, this underhanded, dirty person. And I'm moving on. Yeah, it says, have you eaten? You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. You're acting like a big ass baby. So some of you could have lost, not been eating over this situation or anything. It says reevaluate, change your perspective, perspective or fucking quit. Shit is going down with your job. Yeah, so if you were in a job with someone or some kind of collaboration, I see some type of institution, you were working with someone. Um, yeah, that's over. And then it says, if you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. It says, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. Yeah. So this is your sign to, to get out of this situation with somebody that's faulty and underhanded. You see this person for who they are and they mad and jealous, very jealous with the five of swords that you're moving on towards something else, to a real divine counterpart, somebody that you can trust, somebody that will never do no dirty shit like this to you. Okay. We have the six of cups to the will of fortune. This is a divine counterpart relationship that you're going into. Okay, and it's going to be very blessed with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. That represents your North Node, somebody you're meant to be with. Justice is here. 
as long as you stay in this bullshit that you got around you, you will fail. Nothing will come to fruition for you. So those are the messages I have for you, Cancer. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, all right? I will be going live tonight about um, 9.30 for those of you who want to know, 9.30, 9.45. So um, be there or be square. Mm -hmm. <laughs>